Hey guys, so today I'm doing a little, something a little different. I want to talk to you about manga scalping, which I feel is a topic that can be talked about with uh, books as well. If a, if a really, really rare book goes out of print and then people own that book and they start charging £200 to get that book, you know, that's a major problem and we really shouldn't have that because you might just walk into a second-hand bookshop and find that book for less than it was at retail. So um at the moment this famous manga chainsaw man which i'm pretty sure a lot of if you're a manga and a, and a book reader then you'll know about this manga um it's been going in and out of stock a lot um i was lucky enough i didn't even realize i only started collecting manga at the start of the year so i didn't realize how popular manga was and i picked up this manga chainsaw man before it went out of stock and i was very lucky i got it for six pound which is retail price but if you go on to ebay today you'll find that it is costing people a hundred pound, two hundred pound, just to buy this one volume, and there's really no need for it because it's not out of print. It will be coming back into stock. It's just there's just problems getting here because of everything that's going on in the world at the moment. So, just a bit of advice is just wait for it. Or if you're really down to read, go on to there's a website that you can you can pay for a monthly membership. Um, and you can just read every new chapter every week that comes out. So just do that if you want and wait until the manga comes out if you're looking to collect it. Also, check other websites. Like you may, you may go on Amazon and it may not be in stock. But if you go on Book Depository or any of the other ones that people use, it might be there. Because uh, Volume 3 was out of stock on Amazon. But I went on to Book Depository and I got it for £6. So just don't don't do it guys because you're wasting so much money on a, on a manga that's not out of print it's completely understandable for a manga that's out of print and you might not be able to get it ever again you just have to pay that extra premium to that person who's looking to sell it which is you know that's just the way the world works um whereas with a book you might find it in a second hand shop but there's not really second hand manga that available in english there is websites for it but they're not really the most popular series on them so just, it's a big, it's a problem that we have at the moment, but just, I think in a year's time or six months time, there'll not be as many problems with getting manga, because at the end of the day, the manga industry wants to make more sales and they want to make more money so they can keep growing and they can keep, uh, you know, making money. So uh, that's the end of the video. Don't do it, guys. They will come back in the print. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and comment below. And I'll see you in the next one.